Good morning. Good morning to all of you as you're coming in live this morning. It's Craig Parsons coming to you from Ashington in New Northumberland up here in the UK. And it's really a great morning to be on board, online, and live with each one of you as you're signing in this morning. And it's so great to see you all going into the chat and just telling me where you're coming in from. Uh, lovely to see where you're all based, where you're all coming in from. It's so nice to see. And as you all know, it's that song which we opened with was to align with our gospel reading this morning, which is such a beautiful gospel reading um, that I had to share it. And we're going to do the rosary of trust in Jesus that missed the life storms. And uh, that song was around praising you in the storm. It's the storms we all face within our lives, the chaos, the difficult times. And I really thought that was just so appropriate to really touch each one of you and get you into that space. So I'm going to ask Polycarp. Morning, Polycarp. Are you online? Morning, Craig. I'm online. Oh, lovely. Can I ask you to open us all in prayer this morning, please? No problem, Craig. Thank you so much. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. O oh Lord, open our eyes as we all look up to you in hope and you give and you give us what we need. O oh Lord, open your hand and, and satisfy our hunger and thirst for prayer on our daily living. O oh Lord, we are longing for your presence is our, in our life. We are longing, longing for the bread of life you, you have promised. Father Lord God, as we are gathered here this morning, may you send the power of your Holy Spirit to be upon each one of us, wherever we are, with our families. Father Lord, you have said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Father Lord God, we come to you once again this morning. All men and women present in this group, we ask, seek, find your grace upon our lives. May you send the power of your Holy Spirit to be with each and every one of us this morning. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the creator and sustainer. When you open your hand, you satisfy the hunger and thirst of every living thing. And also you look up, you look to whoever and whatever we need. We ask you, Father, trusting in you to send your abundant goodness and blessings upon each and every one of us. As you once said to the hungry crowds with the five loaves and two fish, we ask you to pour again upon us gathered this morning wherever we are and upon our families the spirit of multiplication, the spirit of goodness towards others, the spirit of sustenance. We ask this to the intercession of our blessed Immaculate Mother Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Polycarp, for that beautiful opening prayer. And as you know, this month is of June, we now celebrate in the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And this week I want to talk about healing hearts, and the call to reparation. So I ask each one of you, have you ever felt the deep need to make amends for something you've regretted doing or saying? Today we're going to explore reparation, the crucial part of our devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus. And I want to share with you a moment I recall a time when I hurt someone with my sharp tongue. 
The words left my mouth, and I knew I'd hit the mark, hurting them deep down. The guilt was heavy, and I knew I had to make things right. There was that something talking inside me that said this wasn't good. I need to fix it. So seeking forgiveness and making amends wasn't easy. Because one can't take back those words once you've said them and let them out. I needed to make things right. And me seeking forgiveness brought healing to both of us. So my biggest lesson from that moment was to rather hold back, digest the conversation, think about it, contemplate. Before speaking, ask myself, will what I have to say add value to that other person or make a difference in that situation? And if it's not, then don't say it. You can always think it, but don't say it. So reparation involves acknowledging the hurt we've caused. We'll be seeking forgiveness and making amends. It's a path to healing our hearts and the hearts we've wounded. And we all know what that feels like. We've done it before. We've said those words before. And St. Margaret Mary Elicu reminds us that reparation goes beyond feeling sorry for our sins. It involves making sincere efforts to repair the damage. And Jesus revealed this to, in the importance of the acts of reparation, when encouraging us to offer prayers, sacrifices, and good works to console his wounded heart. Part of us meeting to pray on a Saturday is making reparation to his heart. In the scripture, Isaiah 53, 5, that he was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. And we need to remember that. So really, I'll go back once more and say, go back and think about when you hurt someone. Was it your wife? Was it your child? Was it your neighbor? Was it someone at work? Or was it someone within your community? Or a family member? And how can you make amends for that hurt? You know, it's so important we... Take the time to go and make a sincere confession. Do the act of reconciliation, where we actually seek God's forgiveness through our Catholic priest, where we openly admit our faults, our failings, and ask for reparation. You know, we can also do daily acts of kindness where we can help others. Maybe a phone call for somebody who needs to hear your voice. Could it be your mother or father in an old age home that you barely see or have contact with? Or maybe your parents who've passed, it's still there. One of their family siblings is still alive, a sister or a brother who just needs to hear your voice. So I challenge each man to reach out to someone they've hurt this week and to go and seek amends. Go and have a conversation. Tell them you're sorry. Tell them that you did not, at the time, realize the hurt you were creating. And try and make it right. And you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for the sacred heart of Jesus. Yes, you will reap the rewards by doing it or trying to do it. But you're doing it for the sacred heart of Jesus. So I really ask you to, this week, focus on going out and making amends. 
You know, Pope Pius XI said, By sin, the soul is stained and wounded, but by reparation, it is cleansed and healed. Reparation cleanses and heals the soul, restoring it to a state of grace. And St. John Paul II said, Reparation is an act of love and justice that binds us to the heart of Jesus. Reparation is a loving and just response to Jesus' suffering and love. And St. Alphonsus Liguori said, We must make reparation for the outrageous committed, outrages committed against the Sacred Heart. And that is happening all the time. It is our duty to make amends for the offences against Jesus' loving heart. And how does one go about doing that? We do it by making a commitment to make reparation, to heal wounds we have caused, and to console the sacred heart of Jesus through our actions. So let us pray. O sacred heart of Jesus, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your forgiveness and the grace to make amends for our sins. Please help us to heal the wounds we've caused and to offer our prayers and sacrifices as acts of reparation. May our efforts bring peace to our hearts and to those we've hurt. Amen. So may the Sacred Heart of Jesus guide and bless each one of you this week as we continue to celebrate this beautiful gift, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And I'm now going to ask Tony Gonzalez to just unmute and to do the act of reparation to the Sacred Heart with me. Tony, I'll be the black, and if you can be the blue, please. Yes, Craig. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, animated with a desire to repair the outrages unceasingly offered to thee, we prostrate before thy throne of mercy, and in the name of all mankind, Pledge our love and fidelity to thee. The more thy mysteries are blasphemed, the more firmly we shall believe them, O sacred heart of Jesus. The more impiety endeavors to extinguish our hopes of immorality, the more we mm -hmm. shall trust in thy heart, so, so thy heart, so hope of mankind. The more hearts resist thy divine attractions, the more we shall love thee, O infinitely amiable heart of Jesus. The more unbelief attacks thy divinity, the more humbly and profoundly we shall adore it, O divine heart of Jesus. The more thy holy laws are transgressed and ignored, the more we shall delight to observe them, O most holy heart of Jesus. The more thy sacraments are despised and abandoned, the more frequently we shall receive them with love and reverence, O most liberal heart of Jesus. The more the imitation of thy virtues in, is neglected and forgotten, the more we shall endeavor to practice them, O heart, model of every virtue. The more the devil labors to destroy souls, the more we shall be inflamed with desire to save them. O heart of Jesus, zealous lover of souls. The more sin and impurity destroy the image of God in man, the more we shall try by purity of life to be a living temple of the Holy Spirit. O heart of Jesus, the more thy holy church is despised, the more we shall endeavor to be her faithful children, O sweetheart of Jesus. The more thy vicar on earth is persecuted, the more we shall honor him as the infallible head of the holy church. Show our infidelity and pray for him, O kingly heart of Jesus. O sacred heart, through thy powerful grace, May we become thy apostles in the midst of a corrupted world and be thy crown in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you.
And I'm now going to ask Lloyd. Lloyd, are you able to unmute? I'm going to check on Lloyd unmute. Morning, morning, Craig. Yes, I am. Morning, Lloyd. And Deacon Arthur, are you able to unmute? I just want to check. Deacon Arthur, are you able to unmute? There you are. Morning, Deacon Arthur. Morning, Lloyd. Lloyd, if I can ask you to be the black and Deacon Arthur, you can be the blue, please. Prayer of reparation. Adorable heart of Jesus, glowing with love for us and inflamed with zeal of our salvation. Deacon Arthur, you're the blue. Oh, heart of Jesus. Just a little bit louder. Oh, heart, ever sensible of our misery and the wretchedness to which our sins have reduced us, infinitely rich in mercy to heal the wounds of our souls, behold us humbly prostrate before thee to express a sorrow that fills our hearts for the coldness and indifference with which we have so long requited the numberless benefits thou hast conferred upon us. With a deep sense of the outrage heaped upon thee by our sins and the sins of, our, of others, we come to make solemn reparation of honor to thy most sacred majesty. It was our sins that overwhelmed thy heart with bitterness. It was the weight of our iniquities that pressed down thy face to the earth. In the garden of olives and caused thee to expire the anguish and the agony of the cross. But now, repenting and sorrowful, we cast ourselves at thy feet and implore forgiveness. Adorable heart of Jesus, source of true contrition and ever merciful to the penitent sinner, impart to our hearts the spirit of penance and give us that hatred of sin which will lead us to its destruction. With our whole heart, we wish to make amends for all sins of our past lives, as well as to accept the sufferings of the present and the future in order to make full atonement for our sins. Grant us the grace to share in that intense charity which moved thee to suffer and die for our salvation. This we ask through the intercession of Our Lady of Sorrows in the name of the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you for that. I'm now going to call on John Schimper and Skolk Fredericks. Um, if you can do the litany to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. John, if you can be the black and Skolk, you can be the blue, please. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, one with the eternal word. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, infinite in majesty. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, holy temple of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Tabernacle of the Most High. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, House of God and Gate of Heaven. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, aflame with love for us. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Source of Justice and Love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. 
have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, wellspring of all virtue, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and full of mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, generous to all who turn to you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of healing, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sharer in our sorrow, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, safeguarder of the vulnerable, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, friend of the betrayed, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, companion of the ignored, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of the misjudged, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, memory of the disbelieved. Dear Lord, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, true voice in the silence. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, wounded by our failings. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bearer of our sufferings. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, acquainted with grief. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, atonement for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with insults. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, broken for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient even to death. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced by a lance. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of all who trust in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of all who die in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus, gentle and humble of heart. Take our hearts and make them your own. Let us pray. Father, we honor the heart of your Son. Broken by man's cruelty, yet symbol of love's triumph. Pledge of all that man is called Pledge of all that man is called to be. Teach us to see Christ in the lives we touch. To offer him living worship by love filled service to our brothers and sisters. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. 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 How beautiful. Thank you. Amen. And we're now going to touch on our gospel today. And uh, John, I know you're still on there, aren't you, John? I am, Craig. Oh, fantastic. And this is a beautiful gospel reading this morning um, from Mark. 
and it aligned to just talking around the storm. And give you some background, this storm happened on the Sea of Galilee, which is actually a lake, but it's uh, more than 600 feet below sea level. And it's 13 miles long from north to south, with eight miles broad from east to west at its widest. But it's notorious for sudden storms. On the west side, there are hills and valleys and gals and rivers that flow into it, which have deep ravines. And this allows the wind, the cold winds, blows from the west. And they rush through these valleys and into the lake. And through that, it creates violent waves. So this compressed wind rushes down upon the lake with savage violence and startling suddenness causing violent and unexpected storms. And that's our gospel reading today. And I'm going to ask John to do the gospel reading. And then Rogan, I just want to see Rogan, are you able to unmute? Yes, I'm here. Good morning, Rogan. Then Rogan's going to do our gospel reflection this morning. So if I can ask you, John, once you finish saying the gospel reading, if you can also ask all the men to raise their right hand as we pray over Rogan, filling him with the Holy Spirit this morning. So, John, if you can do the gospel reading, please. The gospel according to Mark. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? You can raise your right hand. Dear Lord, we ask for the Holy Spirit to come down upon Rajan as he delivers a message this morning, Lord. The preparation he's done this week, may his presentation be that of yours, Lord. We ask this in God's name. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, John. And Rajan, how is your week's preparation for this morning's Reflection. Uh, no, it went fine. It went Good. fine. Uh, you know, as usual, you get tested, but how you go through the storm, you know, it's a test of your faith. Exactly. And I think we're meant to be tested. That's all part of life. And it's being able to come through the storm and positively say, well, I'm ready. I'm here. And you are here today. So, Roger, please, I'm going to hand over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to do this morning's gospel reflection, uh, especially this one, as it is close to home for me and very personal, because I find that my faith gets tested on a daily basis, especially when I get closer to God. So... Uh, this gospel reading presents a, a very powerful narrative about faith and the recognition of Jesus' divine power. <clears throat> there are several key themes that emerge, uh, but I will discuss four that actually stand out for me. And the first one is trust in Jesus' presence. Despite the storm, Jesus sleeps unperturbed by the chaos around him. His calm presence contrasts sharply with the disciples' panic. This scene, brothers and sisters, teaches that Jesus' presence in our lives is a source of peace 
and reassurance, even amid life's most violent storms. The second one, challenge of faith. The disciples fear and their question, teacher, don't you care if we drown? Reveal their struggle with faith. They have seen Jesus perform miracles, but they still doubt. They still doubt him. They doubt his care and power in this life-threatening situation. What about Jesus' response? He says, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? And he challenges them and us to trust him fully, even when circumstances seem dire. The third one, divine authority. Jesus' command to the wind and the waves where he says, be quiet, be still, results in an immediate calm, demonstrating his authority over nature. This, brothers and sisters, is a miracle that signifies that Jesus is not, is not just a teacher or a prophet, but he has divine power. The disciples are in awe and they question. They ask, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Highlights to us a growing understanding of Jesus' true identity. And the fourth one, application to our lives. In our own lives, we face various storms, difficulties, fears, and uncertainties. This passage encourages us to maintain our faith in Jesus' sovereignty and love. When we feel overwhelmed, we have to remember, and we must, that Jesus is with us, capable of bringing peace and resolution and worthy of our trust. So because there's 12 apostles, I'm going to this is just a thought. The significance of 12 apostles, and this just came to me in the week. So each apostle represents one of the following. This is my understanding, brothers and sisters. The five fruits of the Spirit which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. And then there's the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. So if we take the five fruits of the Spirit and the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, we have 12, which makes up the 12 apostles in the boat. So the question that I pose to you, brothers and sisters, is how many are missing from your boat? And maybe it's time that you engaged and got closer to God. And my second question is, Do we disturb Jesus only when we are in the storm and need him? And we let him sleep when all is calm. I think it's time that we spoke to Jesus all the time. So in summary, this gospel invites us to deepen our faith in Jesus and for us to recognize his divine power. And for us, brothers and sisters, is to find peace in his presence, even amid life's fiercest storms. So I wish you a blessed week, and I wish you smooth, smooth sailing in your boat. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Roger, for that really insightful discussion. And uh, I want to open the floor to any one of the men that this reading touched or the reflection given by Roger this morning that touched them, um, especially covering his, his sense of the 12 apostles being the five fruits and the seven gifts. And do you only talk to Jesus when you're feeling in stress or in a storm? So I'm going to open the floor and, and just see who would like to share. I'm going to start with Lloyd. Lloyd, can I ask you to unmute? Yeah, sure. Great. So, what touched you, Lloyd? You know, I was just thinking about this reading, and obviously the storm is a metaphor for our lives. Yes. And thinking how in the storm, Jesus is still present. And just as the apostles had to wake Jesus, or because of their fear, um, they woke Jesus to ask them to assist. Maybe that's the lesson for us, that in our storm, in the storms of, the, of our lives, while Jesus is with us and um, we don't maybe acknowledge his presence and we are scared and afraid of what we're going through, we should just turn to him and ask for his assistance. And just as he came to the assistance of the apostles in this particular story, so too he will come and um, calm the seas and calm the waves that threaten us or that we see or perceive to be a threat to us. So really it's a story of reaching out to Jesus in our time of need and our time of storms. Thank you, Craig. And thank you, Lloyd. It also touches me going one level further than that. We don't only need to reach out to, to Jesus during our storms. We also need to reach out to our brothers, our community, and ask for help um, with people around you, close to you. So it also reminds me that when we're in this feeling of the storm, don't forget there are loved ones around you who are also there to pick you up, advise you, and hold you, and, and give you that support you need. So don't forget that either. Deacon Arthur, I could ask you to unmute. Deacon Arthur, there you are, you're unmuted. Could you share with us what touched you in this gospel? It is interesting to... Thank you. ...to note that Jesus was sleeping. And I wonder, you know, why was he sleeping and where he had his, his apostles around with him? Perhaps with what I was thinking about it, that you know, was he putting them to the test? He knew, perhaps he knew about the storm that was coming their way and see the reaction. I mean, they were following him all the time. They knew who he was. And yet now at that moment when the storm arose, that their faith became shallow. Their faith became skin deep. The effect perhaps came cold. And likewise, in our own journey, so often, our faith puts us to the test. And we struggle with that. But we need to always be find means and ways to turn back to God, to turn back to Christ. We'll be able to restore our faith, renew our lives again, to be able so in the storms of life we encounter on our journey of life, to be able to overcome but, and to be strengthened knowing that Christ will not forsake us. That is during those moments of our weaknesses that he carries us in the palm of his hand, that he will call us by name, knowing that each one of us has the opportunity to return to him, each of eternity to be restored in, this, in our faith in him and be renewed. Thank you, brothers. 
Thank you, Deacon Arthur. And uh, I'm going to call on Tony Denobriga. Uh Tony, are you able to unmute? Thank you. Uh, Tony? Hey, Craig, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you well this morning, Tony? Well, well in yourself. Uh, well in yourself. Lovely. Craig, what touched you this morning, Tony? You know, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Now, let me rephrase that. Teacher, do you not care that I am perishing? How many of us have been in that situation where we, we look at it and say, God, have you abandoned me? Are you asleep on, your, are you asleep on the cushion? Do you not care that I'm perishing, that um, I'm going through so much trials and tribulations? Yeah, I think we've all asked ourselves that question one time in our life. Tony. That's, but that's the, that's the thing, you know, um, and then imagine like Jesus saying, you know, why are you terrified? Do you not have faith in me? Um, and how how many of us can, uh, you know, actually acknowledge and say we weren't terrified, and you know, we we lacked the faith. Uh, that's very important, and yeah. it's 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 beautiful to to just put the words of the gospel into our lives. Um, it's like it's like Deacon Arthur just said that Jesus is asleep. Okay, now by Jesus being asleep, you know he's calm in the face of danger now how many of us <laughs> are calm in our face of danger you know how many we of us have been got... yeah we're probably in anything but calm definitely craig how many of us can turn around and say you know um how many of us can tell ourselves never mind never mind you know jesus told uh, you know rebuke the wind and the sea and he said quiet be still but how many of us can actually, Craig, let me ask you, can in, when you're in times of a difficulty, you yes. know, you, you're so emotionally connected, can you tell yourself, you know, quiet, be still, Craig, you know, just take a break, take, you know, uh, think about it, you know, sometimes we get so entrapped in our emotional state, um, where we actually lose the power of what Jesus is trying to tell us that our faith has to be solidified in those times. Yeah, 100%. And uh, I must admit, getting older in, in age, I have more ability to observe when I am having those feelings and, and learning over time to turn towards the Lord, to turn to Jesus, turn to the saints, St. Joseph especially I turn to, and just ask for that reassurance, I'm on the right track, or give me the, the path I must travel. But when I'm in my younger days, I know I would uh, probably go into a panic storm and forget that Jesus is right there next to me, and I just have to reach out to him. It's, it's, it's also, you know, if, if you were to look at it, um, Craig, you always yeah. speak about, you, you speak about, you know, nowadays as you get older. Yeah. Um, it also comes back down to, you know, our spiritual maturity. Um, not only spiritual maturity, our, our life maturity. It's actually, it, it's, so, it's, it's so ingrained in how we grow up. You know, as we get older, you know, our experiences make us realize things. Um, and as we grow older, we start realizing, wow, is that worth it? Is that worth the fight? Is that worth this? Yes. Is that worth that? Correct. Um, and, 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 you know, how many of us can actually just turn back and just be like Jesus? Um, you know, having that calm within the storm. Uh, and, that, and that's such a, a powerful thing to think about is that we always praying about Jesus. I mean, or reading about Jesus, getting to know Jesus in his life and getting to know his, his journey of life. Um, you know, you don't believe it's, it's the same as I actually 
I, I went through, a, a, um, I just thought of something this week. Yes. And, and I looked at it and you know what came to my mind, Craig? It was Jesus, we only heard about Jesus starting his ministry at the age of 30. Okay. Now, I sat this week and I had a problem and, and I actually looked at it and, and I turned around and I said, you know, Jesus, how did you do it? How did you overcome this problem? You know, 30 years um, being a man, living as a man on the earth, as, as we are, okay? How did you overcome it? How did you, you know, how, give an example. How were you never tempted to sin? How is that possible? Imagine, imagine yourselves, you know, no matter what it goes, you go through, there's so many, so much temptation of sin. Yeah, you know, all the time. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is that, uh, how did Jesus do it? That was the question I used to, like I asked myself, I said, I asked the Lord, I said, how did you do it? Jesus, how did you do it? You know, I'm struggling to just get past this. And how did you overcome this for 30 years of your life? <laughs> quite difficult to understand and comprehend it shows you just the power of who jesus is yes it does yes now oh, beautiful totally. thank you tony and i want to touch on something that i thought was important to share is what did the saints say about the reflections on this reading today and i thought it'd be so nice just to share what a couple of the saints said um and saint augustine of hippo when you have listened to abuse, that means you are being buffeted by the wind. When your anger is roused, you're being tossed by the waves. So when the wind blows and the waves mount high, the boat is in danger. Your heart is imperiled. Your heart is taking a battery. On hearing yourself insulted, you long to retaliate. The joy of revenge brings with it another kind of misfortune shipwreck and why is this because christ is asleep in you and what do i mean by this i mean you have forgotten his presence and you need to rouse him and remember him and ask him to keep watch within you you know as a temptation arises it is the wind it disturbs you it is the surging of the sea. This is the moment to awaken Christ and let him remind you of those words. Who can this be? Even the winds and the seas obey him. And I probably that answers some of your questions there, Tony, as you were asking me then. This saint, Augustina, says it so beautifully. Um, he reminds us that the storms in our hearts, the anger, the temptation, the desires for revenge are signs that we have momentarily forgotten Christ's presence within us. And his words encourage us to awaken Christ in our lives by remembering his presence and relying on his strength to calm our inner turmoil. As men and women on this group, we are drawn, we can draw this from the strength of this reminder knowing that no matter what challenge we have, Christ is with us, ready to bring peace and guidance. And I just thought this is so relevant to what you just discussed, Tony. Craig, you know, I think, I tell you one thing, if we've got to ask the men, eh, and if they had to read that over again, yeah, you know, I don't know about you, but I see myself in that. Um, and if, you know, I'm sure the other men, you know, if we're honest with ourselves, how many times haven't we, we've we been there? It's actually, it's actually such a beautiful quote that you got there. And it's something that we need to just read over and over again, because it also just encourages us. It does um, totally 100% Tony. And that's why I loved when you, you gave your, your, <laughs> your, your insert and how suddenly I knew the saint was coming up and it touches virtually everything you raised. It touched things that Roger discussed. Deacon Arthur and Lloyd touched. 
You know, if we look at St. John Chrysostom, let us learn from this that even when Christ seems to be sleeping, he is always present and ready to help you. Our trials are opportunities to rely more fully on him and to experience his power and grace. And in every storm, let us call upon him with faith, for he is the master of the wind and the waves. And this one touches what Roger touched on, where he's continuously having to be reminded that Jesus is right there. St. John Christum's words remind us that Jesus is always near, even when he seems silent or distant. Our trials are not moments of abandonment, but opportunities to deepen our faith and reliance on Christ. So this teaching encourages us to call upon Jesus with confidence during our difficulties, trusting in his power to calm the storms we face and to guide us through life's challenges. How beautiful. You know, St. Francis de Sales wrote, Do not lose courage in considering your own imperfections, but instantly set about remedying them. Every day, begin the task anew. And how many times have I said, every new day, one, we need to be grateful we're alive in this new day, but every new day is a chance of us to be better than we were yesterday, to be a new us. So St. Francis de Sales encourages us not to be disheartened by our weaknesses or failures. Instead, he urges us to persist in seeking improvement and to trust in God's grace to help us grow. This is particularly motivating for us as men and women on this group, reminding us that each day is a new opportunity to strengthen our faith, address our shortcomings, and rely on Jesus to guide us through life's challenges. How beautiful! We have these saints giving us the steps we need to follow, the process we need to take to be better people. And I just love it when we manage to fill up the saints and see exactly how they have been there to help us. And I want to touch on just something so special for me is that the saints remind us of the importance of our faith, having trust and having perseverance. This reading today reflects the assurance of Christ's presence in our lives and the power he has to calm every storm we're facing. So as we go after today facing our challenges, I want each one of us to draw inspiration from what the saints have taught us knowing that with Jesus we have the strength and courage to become the best versions of ourselves. And I'm going to end this reflection today with a closing prayer relating to the gospel. And Rogan, if I could ask you to unmute, Rogan. Okay, to... great. Can I ask you to say this closing prayer with me, please? Okay. You'll be the black and I'll be the blue. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, thankful for the time we've spent reflecting on your word and the message of Jesus calming the storm. We recognize that just like the disciples, we face many storms in our lives, trials that challenge our faith and, the, and test our strength. Lord, we ask for your guidance and presence in our lives. Please help us to trust in you more deeply, to know that you are always with us, even when we feel overwhelmed. Please strengthen our faith so that we can face our fears with courage and confidence, knowing that you have the power to calm every storm. Jesus, we invite you into our boats. Be with us in our daily struggles in our roles as husbands, fathers, and leaders. Give us the grace to seek your presence through prayer, the sacraments, and your word. Help us to be men of peace, bringing your calm and assurance to our families and communities. So as we go forth from this gathering this morning, please inspire us to live out our teachings. Your teaching, sorry.
May we become better versions of ourselves, reflecting your love, your patience, and your mercy in all that we do. Let our lives be a testament to the trust we have in you, showing us that others that with you no storm is too great to overcome. Father, we ask for your blessings on each man here today. Fill our hearts with your peace and guide us to be the lights in the world, leading others to the safety and comfort of your embrace. Amen. Amen. And Roger, I'm going to ask you to leave the men with one last sentence. Uh, Is there one message you want to leave the men with? One sentence. What would it be? Uh, I think what I can leave you with is... Um, You know, belief without proof, and that is the test of your faith. When you can believe in something without uh, requiring evidence, it's a conviction that goes beyond what can be seen or proven. So we don't have to see, but we just need to know. And believe. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much, Roger, and thank you for taking the time to give us this beautiful reflection this morning. We're now going to start with the Angelus, and uh, Tony Gonzalez has put the names into the, the chat, who's doing what. So if you can just check your, your chat, and uh, just make sure that you're able to unmute. Uh, it's Deacon Mark and Joe. Joe, I'm not sure if you can unmute your mic. We can just test Joe's mic. Joe, the thought so? Are you able to unmute? Okay, it doesn't look like Joe's able to unmute. So, Deacon Mark, I'll help you with the Angelus. So, if no problem. You'll be the black and I'll be the blue. Thank you. The Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we too, whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross we be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. We're now going to do the prayer intentions. And Tony Gonzalez and Tony de Nobrega, you'll be doing the prayer intentions. Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves in your holy presence. We confess your holiness and we acknowledge that we are sinners. In your holy name, we forgive those who have offended us. And we pray that you forgive us our sins. Grant us to be filled with your grace, peace love and the joy of your presence with mother mary with the holy angels and the saints and all the creation we come to praise you to bless you 
to thank you and to glorify your holy name. Hallelujah. Almighty Father, we pray for the intentions of Our Lady for your divine will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We also pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. We pray for the church, for the cardinals, for the bishops, for the priests, all our deacons and religious, and for the laity. We pray for the needs of the church, for vocations to the religious life and to the priesthood. We pray for the faithfulness and the holiness of priests, for the conversion of sinners, for the dying and for all the dead. We pray for the poor souls in purgatory, especially for the ones in our families and for all the faithful departed. Have mercy on them, O Lord. We also pray for the men of this group, old and new, and that they find peace in their hearts, peace within their families, and peace in the whole world. Lord, send your Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth, to destroy evil and darkness, sin and death, immorality, corruption, violence, hatred, and purity, and impurity. Set your throne in every heart and teach us how to come back to you. We pray for the poor and the needy, for the victims of famine, war, natural disaster, divorce, abortion, family problems, for those who suffer unemployment, depression, racism, drugs, alcohol, vices, homosexuality, sexual abuse, and all other problems. They are our brothers and sisters. Help them, Lord, please. We pray for the leaders of our nations, especially at this time that we're facing in South Africa, for all the people in government to be guided by the Holy Spirit. We pray for the sick, especially for the ones around us, for whom you want us to intercede, Lord. We pray for those who don't have anyone to pray for them. We pray also for ourselves. We ask you to give us healing in body, mind, and soul. Lord Jesus, on your crucified body, you took upon yourself the punishment that is due for our sins. You endured our sufferings and the consequences of sin, sickness, and death. So we ask you to forgive us and to heal us by the power of your most holy wounds, by the merits of your holy passion, agony, death, by the merits of the sorrow of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Lord, we also ask you for our personal intentions and for all the intentions of the, of the men and the ladies that are present with us today. Lord Jesus, we all have burdens that we're carrying. We all have fears that we are scared to overcome. Lord Jesus, at times we might feel that you are asleep in our boat. And we ask you, Lord God, to be present. We ask you, Lord God, to be there in our time of need. As each one of us sits here this morning, we have a, we have a, a request to you, Lord. Hear those silent requests that each person this morning is lifting up to you. Give us the wisdom and the understanding and the knowledge to be able to deal with and face our challenges. Give us the courage to do your will. Help us to understand your will. And help us to know that you are always there with us especially now, this morning, in our prayers.
Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Thank you. We now move into our prayers in preparation for the luminous mystery we're going to do today. So I'm going to hand over to John and Oswald. Prayerful preparation and openness to God's grace. Heavenly Father, as we bring our prayer intentions before you, we pause to open our hearts and minds to your divine presence. We recognize our need for your guidance, strength, and grace in every aspect of our lives. We ask that you prepare us now to deepen our faith, to trust in your living plan, and to draw you closer to you. Lord Jesus, you are our refuge in the storms of life. As we meditate on your life and teachings through the prayers, fill us with the courage and peace that comes from knowing you are always with us. Help us to trust in your sacred heart, especially in times of trial and uncertainty. Holy Spirit, we invite you into our hearts. Enlighten our minds with your truth and inflame our hearts with your love. Give us the wisdom to understand the mysteries of our faith and the strength to live them out with conviction. May our prayers today be a source of inspiration and transformation, guiding us to be better husbands, fathers, brothers, and friends. Blessed Mother Mary, you trusted in God's plan with unwavering faith. Intercede for us. Help us to follow your example of humility and obedience. May our hearts be open to the graces we receive, leading us to a deeper relationship with your Son, Jesus. Amen. Act of faith. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches you, because you have revealed them. You can neither deceive nor be deceived. Amen. Act of hope. O oh my God, relying on your almighty power and infinite mercy and promises, I hope to obtain pardon for my sins, the help of your grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Act of charity. O oh my God, I love you above all things with my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of Perpetual Help O Mother of Perpetual Help, grant that I may ever invoke your powerful name, which is the safeguard of the living and the salvation of the dead. Polycarp, yeah. O purest mother, O purest Mary, O sweetest Mary, let your name henceforth be ever on my lips. Delay not, O blessed lady, to help me whenever I call on you. For in all my needs, in all my temptations, I shall never cease to call on you, ever repeating your sacred name, Mary, Mary. Oh, what consolation, what sweetness, what confidence, what emotion fills my soul when I utter your sacred name, or even only think of you. I thank God for having given me, given you my good, for my good, so sweet, so powerful, so lovely a name. But 
I will not be content with merely uttering your name. Let my love for you prompt me ever to hail you, mother of perpetual help. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interest and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O oh, Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your, in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing soul, pray for us. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. O, o most holy heart of Jesus, fountain of, ever, of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessings in all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me to come to thee that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Deacon Arthur, you're up now as the black, and then Tony de Nobrega, you're the blue. Deacon Arthur. The Divine Mercy Chaplet. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Please, you can start. You expire, Jesus, by the source of life, gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, and fathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary. Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of our dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy Eter God. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal, fa Eternal Father, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Thank you. That was beautiful. We're now going to do the rosary of trust in Jesus. So using the luminous mysteries, we're going to bring in our trust that we need to have in our Lord. So I'm going to hand over to Skulk. Uh, sorry, not to Skulk. I'm going to hand over to Lloyd and Clarkson. Heavenly Father, we gather, we gather in your holy presence with hearts full of gratitude and devotion. As we come together, we pray this rosary. We seek to deepen our trust in Jesus amidst the storms of our life. We unite, we unite our prayers with those of the church, asking for your mercy and blessing upon us. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, we offer this rosary for those facing life storms. We pray for strength, courage, and unwavering faith. Teach us, dear Jesus, to trust in your presence and power, bringing peace and calm to our troubled hearts. Our Immaculate Heart of Mary, we turn to you, our loving mother. We ask for your intercessions and guidance. Help us to grow in faith, yeah. hope, and charity, and to follow your example of unwavering trust in God's providence. Holy Spirit, come upon us as we pray, filling us with your grace and wisdom. Open our hearts to the mysteries of this rosary and help us to reflect deeply on the life of Christ and his power to calm the storms in our lives. May this prayer bring us closer to God and to one another, uniting us in love and faith. We entrust this time of prayer to you, O Lord, through the intercessions of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May it bear fruit in our lives, leading us to a deeper relationship with you and a commitment to living out our faith. Amen. Lord, we profess our faith in you and your Son, Jesus Christ, 
who demonstrated his divine authority by calming the storm. Strengthen our belief in your omnipotence and eternal love, so that we may always trust in your divine will and find peace in your presence. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Father in heaven, we come before you as your children, seeking your guidance and protection. As Jesus calmed the storm, calm the storms in our lives, grant us the grace to always tend to you in our times of need and to trust in your providential care. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. For the virtue of faith. Jesus, increase our faith, just as you challenged your disciples to have faith amidst the storm. Help us to believe in your power and presence in every aspect of our lives, especially when we are faced with fear and uncertainty. Let our faith, let our faith be a beacon of light and strength. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the virtue of hope, Lord, you are hope in times of trouble. As you brought calm to the turbulent sea, bring hope to our hearts when we face life's challenges. May we always look to you with confident expectation, trusting that you will guide us through every storm. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, please pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. For the virtue of charity, Jesus, teach us to love as you love. In the calm after the storm, may we find ways to show charity and compassion to those around us. Let our hearts be open to serving others, sharing your peace and love with all we meet, especially in, the, in their times of need. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first luminous mystery. The, baptism, the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. Rapolo, can I ask you to do the blue, please, Rapolo? Okay, great. If you can be the blue, please. Thanks. We pray for a deeper, deeper acceptance of God's will in our lives, inspired by Jesus' humility and obedience in his baptism. As we reflect on Jesus coming the storm, may we open our hearts to the Holy Spirit's guidance and embrace our baptismal call with faith, trusting in Jesus to guide us through the storms of life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O oh, Mary, conceived without sin, pray for for us who have recourse to thee. Amen. Bobby, you're up. Bobby and Oswald. Bobby, you're black. Oswald, you're the blue. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast at Cana. We pray for the grace to trust in Jesus' transformative power. Just as he turned water into wine at Cana, 
reflecting on his calming of the storm, may we turn to him with confidence during life's challenges, trusting that he will bring peace and resolution to our troubles through his sacred heart. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O oh, Mary, conceived without sin, Pray for us, who have recourse to thee. Amen. Amen. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. We pray together for the courage to proclaim the kingdom of God through our actions and our words, inspired by Jesus' teaching. As we reflect on Jesus as calming the storm, may we live out his message of love, peace and of justice, bringing hope and stability to those around us, trusting in his sacred heart to guide us.
the will the will be done our father who art in heaven our lord be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O oh, Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. We pray for the grace to see Jesus' glory and be transformed by his presence as revealed in the transfiguration. Reflecting on the calming of the storm, may we find strength and courage in moments of revelation, carrying the light of Christ into the darkness of the world with faith in his sacred heart. Our oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O oh, Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Amen. Deacon Arthur, you're up now with Roger. Deacon Arthur, if you can unmute. You're the black Deacon Arthur. Deacon Arthur, you there? We can't seem to hear you, Deacon Arthur. The fifth luminous mystery. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, go. Okay. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. We pray for a deeper love and deliverance for the Holy Eucharist, recognizing Jesus' real presence with us, reflecting on Jesus, calming the storm. We may draw strength from this sacrament, trusting in his promise to be, all, to be with us always and finding peace and courage in his sacred heart especially in the storms of life. Roger, if you can be the black. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary, Mary conceived conceive without sin. sin, pray for us we have recourse to, to thee. Hail, Holy Queen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on these mysteries of this of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Continue, sir. Yeah, please continue. Pray to St. Michael, the Archangel. St. Michael, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into our Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, the great things the Lord has done for you. He chose you for his mother. He wanted you close to his cross. He gives you a share in his glory. He listens to your prayer. Offer him our prayers and praise and thanksgiving. Present our petitions to him. 
Let us live like you in the love of your son, that is, that his kingdom may come. Lead all people to the source of living water that flows from his heart, spreading over the world hope and salvation, justice and peace. See our trust in you. Answer our prayer. Show yourself always as our mother. Amen. 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 We're now going to do the litany of trust, which is a prayer that helps us identify and articulate the fears and doubts that hinder our full reliance on Jesus, transitioning into affirmations of trust in him while seeking the Holy Spirit to cultivate this trust. We pray this litany whenever we struggle to trust Jesus with our past, our present, and our future, as its words resonate deeply with our experiences of, of anxiety, regret, and restlessness, inviting us to learn on his steadfast love, the lean. It allows us to express our innermost struggles and ask for the grace to trust Jesus more fully, offering the comfort and strength found by Sister Christina Maria Pia in her own spiritual journey. To pray the litany of trust, do it slowly, allowing the words to penetrate your heart, reflecting on areas where you struggle to trust, and asking Jesus to fill those spaces with his peace and with his confidence. So I'm going to hand over to Deacon Mark and Oswald. Litany of Trust. From the belief that I have to earn your love. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear that I am unlovable. Deliver me, Jesus. From the false security that I have what it takes. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear that trusting you will leave me more destitute. Deliver me, Jesus. From all suspicion of your words and promises. Deliver me, Jesus. From the rebellion against childlike dependency on you. Deliver me, Jesus. From refusals and reluctances in accepting your will. Deliver me, Jesus. From anxiety about the future. Deliver me, Jesus. From resentment or excessive preoccupation with the past. Deliver me, Jesus. From restless self-seeking in the present moment. Deliver me, Jesus. From disbelief in your love and presence. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being asked to give more than I have. Deliver me, Jesus. From the belief that my life has no meaning or worth. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of what love demands. Deliver me, Jesus. From discouragement. Deliver me, Jesus. That you are continuously holding me, sustaining me, and loving me, Jesus. Jesus, I trust in you. That your love goes deeper than my sins and failings and transforms me. Jesus, I trust in you. That not knowing what tomorrow brings is an invitation to learn on, to lean on you. Jesus, I trust in you. That you are with me in my suffering. Jesus, I trust in you. That my suffering, united to your own, will bear fruit in this life and in the next. Jesus, I trust in you. That you will not leave me orphan. That you are present in your church. Jesus, I trust in you. That your plan is better than anything else. Jesus, I trust in you. That you always hear me and in your goodness always respond to me. Jesus, I trust in you. That you give me the grace to accept forgiveness and to forgive others. Jesus, I trust in you. 
that you give me all the strength I need for what is asked. Jesus, I trust in you. That my life is a gift. Jesus, I trust in you. That you will teach me to trust you always. Amen. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we offer you our prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. We offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, and the reunion of all Christians. We offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all apostles of prayer, and in particular for those recommended by our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the month of June. For migrants fleeing their homes, we pray that migrants fleeing from war or hunger, forced to undertake journeys full of danger and violence, find welcome and new opportunities in the countries that receive them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, please pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Well, I just want to say what a beautiful morning of prayer and reflection. And um, I hope each one of you were touched by the special words and the reflection. And you'll go forward this week. Just keeping that heart of Jesus close to you. I'm going to ask Bobby Masidi to close us in prayer. Bobby, are you there? Yeah. Will you be happy to close us in prayer, Bobby? Let us do it. Thank you so much. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are truly grateful that we were able to gather this morning as men and women, seeking your guidance, seeking to be close to you, seeking you to be present, to be the coming storm in our lives. Lord, when the storms hit us, may we be assured that you are always there with us. May we never forget that whilst we go through our trials and tribulations, you are always there with us. And so as we depart this morning, Lord, may the words that you have filled in our hearts with inspire us to go forth and be true disciples. This we ask in thanksgiving to through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thanks for the beautiful 